you could hear at every jolt, the blood come gargling from the froth corrupted lungs. Obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud. A vile incurable sores on innocent tongues. zest to children ardent for some desperate glory, the old lie. Dulce et decorum est, pro patria mori. John? John? John Thomas? Amelia Forster, it's nice to finally meet you. Please, take a seat. Can I get you anything? I'm all right, thank you. I'm dying to hear your story. When we last spoke on the phone, I could hardly contain myself. Maybe you should wait until I've told the whole story. Well, it's just... These are the kind of stories that I want to tell someday. I'm afraid it's not that kind of story, Miss Amelia. Well, let's get started. Let's see, where do I begin? Do you mind if I record this? No, oh, please do. Ah, uh, where was I? Why don't I start from when I first met him? Don't shoot! Hands where I can see them! I believe! I go! You go? I will go! What, so you can turn around and shoot me while I'm sleeping? No, I don't think so. So you kept him with you? How come you couldn't just let him go? I told myself that I couldn't trust him. That he might turn around and shoot me when I wasn't looking. You keep your friends close, your enemies even closer. Was he really your enemy? The real reason was I was lonely. Lonely and ashamed of what I had done. I tried to justify myself through him. If he had deserted just like I had, then he was as much as a sinner as I was too. You want food? You want my food? You don't talk much, do you? You have a name? Do you have a name? I am John. I am Ernst. Ah, he speaks. Ernst, huh? So what are you doing out here, Ernst? 
You a deserter? You a coward? Yeah, me too. I thought I could do it. You know, you train, you do those, those damn obstacle courses and you think you can take over the world. And then you get out here and you realize that you're just a number in somebody's newspaper back home. You know, I saw the explosions, I heard the gunshots. After the mess we cleaned up at the Battle of the Bulge, we were meant to push forward towards Berlin. And I, I, I couldn't do it, I cracked. And now, I'm just a face in the Nazis' sights, and a coward, and a deserter to my own people. American? What? You. You American? You didn't hear a word I just said, did you? Yes. Yeah, I'm American. Good old red, white, and blue. German. Yeah, I figured. Bloody Nazi. From New York? Me? Hell no. Ohio. From Nuremberg. Nuremberg. Is that by Berlin? You from Berlin? No. Berlin, here. Nuremberg, here. You, me, here. Oh yeah, well I'm trying to get over back there by civilization. I go Nuremberg. Not while I'm around. Me and you are going to the French border. It's not a good direction to border. What do you mean it's not a good direction to border? It's not good direction. Well, you damn well better take me to the good direction. Just remember who's got the rifles here. If we go border, I go Nuremberg. You'll take me to the border? No tricks? All right, then. <laughs> What's so funny? You, you Americans, you are like a little rabbit. <laughs> you hear a loud noise and you run away, little rabbit. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Why were you in the army? The government forced me. Ah, verb fleet. So what about you? You got verb? You got drafted? Nein. I wanted to fight for my country. For Hitler? Yeah, for Hitler. How the hell can you fight for somebody like that? Hitler cares for Deutschland, provides for my family. We didn't know. We didn't understand, didn't want to understand. You're sick. Hitler is sick. We are blind. So that's why you ran away? Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. Just of living for the wrong thing. Good night, Ernst. Good night, Rabbit. So, you kept heading west? Yes. Always west. With each step, I could feel Ernst's heart sink as he took one laboring step after another, farther and farther from his home. We kept walking.
politische Absicht. Nicht scheißen, ich bin deutsch. Don't you dare move. You go border, I go Nuremberg. He came back for you? He could have moved on. He could have come back and shot me if he wanted to. But he kept his word. That's incredible. He came back. schweren Traum. Es wuchs in meinem Garten ein Rosmarienbaum. Who is she? Hm. My Frau. Uh, my, my wife. You're married? Eva. You have Fraulein? Me? No, no, no. <laughs> you need? No, no, no. I do just all right. We are close. Yeah. One more day. Then you can head home, huh? saw each perlen rinen unterflein rosen raut was mag der tam bereiten ach liebster bist du taut Check out the back room, Aaron. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think this will do. We'll stay here tonight.
Stop. Come on. Let's get out of here. borders over that hill. Get down! Germans! They will not shoot me. You must go border. Go! Go! Goodbye, Ernst. Goodbye, Rabbit. Wow, that's an incredible story. So you tell me, Miss Amelia, what's the point? I think it's the point of any story. It changed you. Weren't you listening? It didn't change me. That's why I left him there to die. That's why I forced him to walk halfway across the country far away from his home. I didn't change. I failed. Maybe it changed more than you know. Since we last talked on the phone, I made a few calls. This is a picture of Ernst Kuhn and his wife, Eva. They live in Nuremberg. He wanted to say hello to Rabbit and to say thank you. For what? For saving his life. As a deserter, Ernst would have been executed before the war was over. As a prisoner of war, he got to go home to his wife. You saved his life just by being there that day. Thank you. Thank you, John.